Hey guys, it's Eric with the Miller Park Minute, where we're throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers, getting listeners. Back again with the Brewers only daily podcast, the Milwaukee Brewers podcast that goes once a day at 5.30 a.m. on YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. We are always available 5.30 Central Standard Time. Uh, that being said, we are here to throw likes and get strikes today. Throwing strikes and getting likes, hitting dingers, getting listeners. That being said, we are sponsored by Seed Geek with the code Miller Park Minute. You get $20 off your first order. So use that code, save some money on some tickets to a concert, baseball game, basketball game, football game, whatever you want. Save money with Seed Geek. $20 off. All right. So if you haven't already, guys, uh, we are on all these platforms. Uh, If you could remember to rate and review us on the podcast platforms, if you're listening to the audio version of this podcast, that would be great. Otherwise, like and subscribe over on the YouTube channel. You can also go over to the Facebook page. The Facebook page is the Miller Park Minute and the Milwaukee Brewers. You can go follow me on Twitter. It's Miller Minutes. Uh, also over on Instagram, I believe it's Miller Park Min Minute. I don't know. You type in Miller Park Minute, you'll get there or close to. Uh, then we also created a new website. It's got some good content, uh, a little bit of bio info- information, uh, links with pictures of our most current episodes. So go check that out, guys. MillerParkMinute.com. All right, so today's episode, we're just going to kind of do a recap. I actually fully intended to get down to the event today at the bar, Uh, but when I was driving, I just had this notion that because it was a 600-person capacity, that was going to be full. So I checked my phone, saw a picture of the line outside, looked at my kid, and I was like, no, buddy, we can't do it. Can't do it. It's too cold. Don't want to sit out in the, the cold weather. Um, with no guarantee of getting in because I didn't know what was going to happen if if we got down there and we didn't get in. That had been a long, uh, about an hour ride for for really nothing. Um, and I'm just going to speak for a moment, maybe a few moments, because this kind of irritates me as a fan, and I'm sure it irritates some of you as well as it irritates me. I think it is complete and absolute horse crap that the Brewers took away a widely popular, widely sold-out event in the on-deck. The Wisconsin Center was a perfect venue. You could spread them out. You could have two floors. You know, you had the booths with the the vendors on the one side. You had all the the different stages for the autographs and photo sections and you know, the big stage where they played the different games with the players. I mean, it was great, and they did different radio broadcasts and things with legends and it was just spread out and they had a whole kid section where you could take your kid down there and you could interact with players. Uh, there's like a foosball area where you, oh, it was so good. And they got rid of it. Of course, and, and anything good. Uh, I talked about with that, that with uh, Bart Winkler the other day and me and Bart Winkler on Monday's show actually forecasted that this was probably going to happen. It was probably going to be sold out and it did. It, it filled up and uh, it looked really packed in that small bar. So, 600 people in a small establishment like that. It's a shame. But, so some news and notes did come out of it. Uh, so, they talked to Craig Council um, from what I saw on Twitter and what I watched on the broadcast. There's a broadcast that's available on MLB.com. Uh, I also found out on Facebook. I believe, yeah, Facebook, it was on there. The Bruce Facebook page as well. But they talked uh, to uh, Council. There was a couple clips on Twitter that were produced. Uh, and then he was talking about, uh, basically, they asked him, like, hey, what happens? You know, do you catch a lot of flack for uh, where you finished and stuff like that? And he's like, well, you know, not right now because it's it's my favorite time of year. And you could just tell he was excited and jacked to be back and that's huge. I mean, you know, Council Council had a smile on his face, you know, not the typical skull. Um, so it was good to see him speaking in a positive light about it. 
Um, and just kind of, we're, we're kind of moving into that, that positive momentum. They don't throw them any hardball questions. Um, just not really something they do. These guys are all paid by the brewers. So they're not, they're, it's not like journalists that go out there looking for a story or a scoop or try and get some dirt. Um, they kind of lob softballs at them, which is par for the course when you're on the payroll of the person that, that, that whole thing is kind of always confused me. McAlvey's paid by the brewers, but he's supposed to be the beat writer and the investigative reporter. And yeah, I don't understand that whole, the whole concept because you're going to, you're going to basically tell the stories that they want you to tell at that juncture, which yeah. So they talked to uh, Freddie Peralta and um, Willie Adamas a lot. Being that those are the biggest stars that were at the event, they had the most to say and the most interesting stuff to say. Both want to play for the Dominican in the World Baseball Classic. Uh, it sounds like they got to get some kind of clearance or something like that, or the team's got to accept them. Uh, so that's kind of cool. I mean, get more stars from our team in the World Baseball Classic. Uh, I mentioned last week, I believe it was, Luis Sirius and uh, Roddy Telez are going to play for Mexico, along with Devin Williams, who's already on Team USA. So that's awesome. I mean, gives me something to watch for. It's always more engaging when you have players from your ball club on that on that on that stage, you know. And then, of course. They said it, uh, both of them said it, actually, that's a dream to play for your country. You want to play for your country in, like, an Olympic or an event like that, which is really awesome. So, the other thing that uh, got, got got some waves tonight, some waves were produced, and I'm, I'm going to speak on it for a little bit here. Uh, so, one of the reporters asked, basically, if... Uh, Willie and the club had talked about extensions. He had mentioned that there was no discussion. He would love to stay in Milwaukee. He'd love to be a brewer for a long time. Uh, of course, that's the the PC, the right answer to give in front of the microphone and in front of the crowd because that's going to be played everywhere. Well, then everybody on Twitter blew up and said, well, why this organization hates us and you know, pay the man. The guy wants to be here. And I, and I agree. I mean, I do think he should be paid, and I think we should extend him. But that being said, these guys' winter break is basically like a summer vacation for a school student. They're not talking to the club every day. It's not like they call up Craig Council on the daily and say, hey, Craig, how's it going? You know, or get Matt Arnold or David Stearns on the phone and say, hey, yo, what's up, boss? They don't do that. They have lives. They they live basically a summer vacation in the middle of winter, and a lot of these guys come from warmer climates, so they literally get to enjoy the the nice warm winter weather. That's that's the truth of the matter. Um, one of the reporters actually came back on Twitter later and put a correction out there, just because they those comments were getting drawn and there was some animosity coming on Twitter, which yeah, fear the Twitter animosity. I get it. Um, but yeah, that's, that's, that is what it is. I mean, they talked before he left and he's just now coming back. He, this is probably his first event. First time he's really talked to the brewers before he, you know, shows up down in Arizona next week. So I don't think that's a bad thing. Um, he was in, and he's he was in good company. I mean, he was with Will, Willie Peralta. Oh my God, biggest full paw of the day, Freddie Peralta and uh, Aaron Ashby, who are both extended Brewers players. Owen Miller is a new Brewer, Sal Frelick, new Brewer, uh, not even called up yet. So let's not even think about him. Uh, Garrett Mitchell just called up. Those guys are figuring out their their place in the organization. They don't even have an idea about a contract yet. Die at some point they want to play to get to that point. So obviously they probably have those conversations at the same time. But I I don't think this is a bad light. I don't think this is a bad look. I mean, he spent some time with Freddie. I'm sure him and Freddie are buddies and they want to be teammates for a long time. They they spent some time. Uh if you go over to their Instagram pages, they were in the Dominican 
uh, doing an event, and they apparently brought Craig Council down there, which they said they showed him a good time, and Freddie was giggling like a little girl about it, and it was kind of entertaining. So who knows? I, I'm sure they they played some prank on him or something. It was fun. Uh, I just don't foresee that being a, a current issue. I think they're going to try to work something out with him. Uh, most of these things and talks and con- conversations about contracts don't really start happening until after the arbitrations are all settled. They want to get those contracts out of the way and get everybody locked up and, and not have to go to any cases or anything like that, which they've got one. One is better than like seven or eight, like some clubs do. I think I mentioned that the other day. Um, it's just going to be a matter of how long they can sign him for. I think it'll be two to three, maybe four to five, uh, if they can extend it. Hopefully by opening day. Every day would be a great day to do it, though. I mean, every day up until opening day, get him on the phone, get his agent on the phone, his representation, whoever you have to talk to to sign him for a long time. Shortstop's one of those positions. Uh, I'd like to say shortstop and catcher are the positions you want, especially because we haven't had a long-term catcher. Like, outside of Luke Roy, we haven't had a long-term catcher in, well, for the better part of a long time. Maldonado was long term though, but he he was more of a backup. So, but yeah, a, a long term shortstop would be a nice thing. We had some good combinations in there with Gene Scarra, JJ Hardy, and all that. The the train of this guy was traded for this guy, this guy was traded for this guy, that kind of thing. Um, I don't want to see it. I just don't. Uh, don't really, you know, I don't really think that that's something we need. We need any more uh, signing trees or trade trees, or we just don't need to break that stuff down. Players come and go. It's Major League Baseball. Let's get used to it. Uh, so, just an update on yesterday, we talked about Brian Anderson. Brian Anderson was signed uh, to a one year deal uh, for $3.5 million with up to two million dollars in incentives uh, so he joins our loaded up deep deep roster that we have right now where some decisions are going to be made uh, we're actually going to review the 40 man one more time uh getting a little closer to the season and the star spring training and everything like that yeah so uh it looks like in total we spent about eight million bucks on free agent signings which um, I get they, they had some increases, as I talked about with Dom the other day. They had some increases in the cost of arbitration and the cost of these players, and, and their payroll is still going to be more than last year's opening day. So I get where all that comes from. It just I'd like to see it go a little bit higher, you know, kind of incorporate some burns extensions, some, some woodruff extensions. I've said this, and I will say it again. Matt Arnold's tenure is not a success unless he reps all three of those players up, the big three. So... Sorry, not sorry about that. Uh, we're going to do some predictions coming up here. We're going to start with uh, um, probably Thursdays. Fr- so for like Friday's episode, we're going to do predictions. Uh, yeah, because this is going to be coming out on Thursday. So yeah, Friday's episode. Sorry, it's late. Uh, we're going to do some predictions. We're going to start predicting different things each week until spring training. Um, we're going to bring on more surprise guests. We are working hard behind the scenes every day trying to trying to land and secure guests. So um, I don't know if I mentioned this on the podcast, but Travis Shaw officially announced retirement, uh, his eight-year career, uh, where he spent the majority of time with the Brewers, has now come to a close. Jocelyn Boom, we did talk about his retirement. Uh, If you want to go over to brewerfanatic.com, I was actually just on there tonight playing with the site a little bit. I forgot... Uh, kind of some of the the content of the website, and they've got some nice forums over there where you can get in some discussions with Brewers fans. Uh, that's probably one of my favorite parts about this webpage is the forums, because like, what are we here for? I mean, what? Why am I sitting in front of this uh, the screen right now talking to you guys? Because we, I enjoy the conversation with Brewers fans, and I enjoy talking to you guys. Um, if I didn't mention already, we do have a live show uh, that goes live. Every Saturday evening 
five or four thirty, five o'clock, somewhere in that vicinity. Um, you can come on, join. I am now posting a StreamYard link on my Twitter uh, once a day when I record the latest and greatest episodes. So if you want to come on live with me, come chat with me, uh, just about every night, 10, 30, 11 o'clock at night is when these things are recorded. So feel free to stop by. Um, tonight, MLB.com aired or I should say MLB.com, MLB TV aired the network, not the MLB.TV. That's a subscription. Uh, They aired the uh, top 10 for Spaceman right now. Of course, we did not have a contender on that list. Uh, Rowdy just isn't there yet. and Her doesn't play enough second base or first base, so that doesn't count. Um. But Freddie Freeman and uh, Paul Goldschmidt were the top two. But those guys have been thorns in our side for so long. It's just like, ah. Uh, kind of sad at the same time. This is a tweet I'm going to read to you. It's just funny because it popped on my... Milwaukee Brewers went from having a nice big fan fest at Wisconsin to the... Once the Wisconsin's are otherwise known as Brewers on Deck, to a player meetup with six players, and it's being held at a bar now. Sorry, I'm just confused about what was wrong with the other event. <laughs> oh, he's that's just the sentiment all over Twitter. Twitter is a dark place at times, but that's that's the true sentiment right now. Is like people are so mad about this, uh, and I mean, I really don't blame them. I I don't blame them at all because I'm I'm upset. Like I would have gone to this thing had I not seen that it was just empty. We talk about Brew Fanatics. That website's got some great content up. We're gonna be posting some more videos there in the next day or so. So go over there, check them out. Uh, remember to subscribe, join the conversation. Uh, if you guys have any feedback, input, anything you'd like to add to the show, feel free. Um, I'm always open to suggestions. I love to interact. And uh, this is why I do this, because I want to interact with you guys and uh, you know, put out a podcast that people like. Around MLB, we're going to run down real quick the latest trade rumors. Um, so we're going to try and do a around MLB every day. So it looks like uh, the A's have been... You remember we were in talks for Ramon Lariano. Uh, it looks like the A's are now out of seeking a trade for him. So... Apparently, they're content with their roster. The A's do not want to currently dump him, which is kind of interesting and funny all at the same time. Uh, Twins signed Chris Paddock to an extension. Dave Phelps announces his retirement. Ray sign Heath Hombre. Ben Heller, Zach Birdie to minor league deals with invites to major league camp. Kevin Pilar, that's a blast from the past, minor league deal with the Braves. Uh, the Red Sox have received significant interest in Tanner Huak. I butcher names. And here's another one. Former Brewer signs a deal with the Rangers for minor league deal, Jacob Barnes. Remember, we traded him back and forth like with Seattle like two years ago when we were worried about catchers. Ray signed Elvin Rodriguez and Trevor Kelly to minor league deals. And that's really the top of the trade rumors for today. Uh, there's some more talks about Jerickson Profar, who's still available in free agency. Um, Rollis Chapman has been making his way around, and we talked about that yesterday. Uh, I mean, the butcher did, and just it's so weird because he just the way he fell off. I mean, remember when he was flamethrower with the Cincinnati Reds, and 
And he was on the Cubs when they won the World Series, and they went back to the Yankees, and then he didn't show up for the playoff or for a playoff workout, and they let him go. Sucks. Two. Excuse me, suck. That was just a stupid move on his part, and I, I honestly can't believe he did it, and I can't believe that anybody is going to invite him to play baseball again. Hey, we're actually on the trend. The Brewers are on trending on Twitter, which is kind of funny. Yeah, that line, though, that line was pretty rough. Uh, oh, there was a funny one. Uh, if you didn't go over, go over to the Facebook or uh, go to Tim Dillard's, uh, one of Tim Dillard's accounts on any platform, and you can see he uh, crossed out and said, uh, breaking, Milwaukee signed yet another Brian Anderson pending prostate exam. And it's his picture from uh, Baseball Reference, and he's got his name crossed out, and he wrote Brian Anderson. Kind of funny. Kind of funny. Uh, Bruce Fantasy Camp is in full swing. Uh, I would currently have more guests on the show, but Bruce Fan Camp is taking some of those guests away from me. So, is what it is. Yeah, gosh, there's a lot of people that are like, pay the man, pay the man, pay the man. I agree. I'm not going to say I don't think he should be paid, but yeah. That's really it, guys. I do not have much more for you tonight. We're going to wrap this episode. It's probably going to be a little shorter than the standard episode by a few minutes. I I just, oh, I'll give you a, a kind of a bird's eye view of what, what we got coming. Uh, I really wanted to get some more um, on the ground content. And uh, I think we're going to be working on some, some different things coming up here. But we're going to do some prediction specials. Uh, there's going to be multiple of them. So we're kind of going to predict on many different levels. We're also going to do uh, more breakdowns. We're going to break down some of the new stars, some of the trades, um, and see where, you know, kind of just where everything stems and what we can break down more. Right now we're in the slow cycle, so we're just going to break down what comes. Obviously, we're going to talk about moves that the Brewers make on time uh, and keep keep on swinging. So I don't intentionally steal people's catchphrases, but I just did there. So apologize for that. Sorry, Dom. But you guys have a great rest of your day. As always, like, subscribe. Uh, hit me up if you have any questions, comments. You want to chat? You want to be on the show? Uh, go find me on one of the social platforms, and I'd be glad to talk to you. Otherwise, thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute, and go Brewers. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers.